Hi and welcome to the Excel experience. Today I'll share with you basics of how to create pivot table in Excel. Pivot tables are like superheroes of data analysis in Excel, allowing you to transform a massive amount of data into meaningful insights. So before starting, I'll explain you what data are we going to use to create our pivot table. So here we have organization's data where we have employee's name, department name, gender, age, date of joining and basic pay. There are few things which you need to keep in mind before creating pivot table. First, ensure your data is in tabular format. Second, no blank rows or columns or subtotals within the data set. Third, data types are appropriate for each column. And fourth, each column should have a unique name. Now, let's not waste any more time. It's pivot table time. Ready? Let's get started. First, I'll select the entire data with Ctrl A and now go to insert. And we will click on pivot table. But before that, let me show you this recommended pivot tables. Recommended pivot tables give us option of different pivot tables, which Excel thinks will best suits based on our data. So these are different options we can select from here. But today we will create pivot table from scratch. So we will click on pivot table and select from table or range. So here it is mentioned select table or range. We have already selected. Next is choose where you want pivot table to be placed either on existing worksheet or new worksheet. So we will select new worksheet and OK. Now we have been sent directly to a new worksheet. Now here, as you can see, two new tabs have been generated. Pivot table analysis and design. There are different options like slicer, timeline, move pivot table, etc. This we will see later. So now here you can see is blank pivot table space. So our pivot table will be generated here. And here you can see pivot table fields where you have list of fields of your original table. And below are space for areas, filter, column, rows and values. Filter if you want to filter any of your data from your field list, rows and column to add your data in rows or column. And value is to calculate from your data. So now we will create our basic pivot table. We want to see number of employees department wise and also want to separate based on gender. So we will select department name and drag it to rows area. Next, we will select employee's name and put it into values area. Here you can see it has count number of employees. You can also change calculation type from this list. Then we also want to add gender so we can drag it to here under rows area. So now it has changed your table view like this. We can expand and collapse the list from here. We can also have gender list in column. So we need to drag gender list to column and it will change your table view like this. So this is how you can create your pivot table as you require. There is another way to see your table. You can put gender field in filter view. Right now you can see total employees. Then you can filter male or female from here. Now we want to see that there are four employees in HR, but we want to check who are they. So we will double click here and it will take us to another sheet and show list of all the employees. Isn't it great? Okay, so that's it for now. There are more things to cover, but we will see it in the next video. If you like the video, consider to like and subscribe and want to ask anything, write it in the comment section. Thank you.